Hey, I'm back. Back for some more PS4 MLB 14 the show. Um, I basically just got back the other day. Um, basically, I needed pretty much all the entire day yesterday of just doing fun stuff around the house, like laundry and all that other good stuff, and groceries and pretty much all that fun stuff. But um, so I couldn't do any gaming yesterday, and today was doing a little bit more recovery. Um, basically, I was on vacation. Um, for a week, little over a week, um, so I really wasn't able to play too much. I did get three games done on the Vita, um, not as much as I'd like to have done, but when you're on a plane and you're playing, it, it generally, I was playing a lot of Terraria and some other games and stuff on my Vita, and um, so I only got three games done, two on the way there and one on the way back. Um, Basically, it was a conscious effort not to play the third game because I wanted to see the game on the PS4 in Pittsburgh. So I didn't want to miss any of that. Um, but anyway, I'll be I'll be stepping it up and everything. There'll be more broadcasts, and I'll be getting we'll be getting more and more um, back into the flow here. Um, unfortunately, the, the first game I played, I lost. It was, uh, it was a really nail biter. Gave up a run in the bottom of the eighth and the bottom of the ninth, as you can see, and winded up losing the game. Um, it was kind of a real shame. Um, was playing the game really well. Burnett, Burnett did everything right in that game for me. Um, and then basically Albuquerque gave a game went run in the eighth, and the starter gave it up in the ninth, and we lost the game. Um, so that's what happened there in that game. On the Friday night game, which was the second game that I played, um, I basically just, I couldn't score. Um, everything I could do just didn't happen. Gave up four run spot in the first. It, it's like most of those errors that happened in the first inning. I, I don't even know if any of those runs were earned. Uh, no, they, actually they were all earned. Um, but it's like, they were like just, nasty stuff and everything that just shouldn't have happened and I, I should have been able to play better than that but um and I couldn't get hits off of Cole the player you could see his thing he's 5 and 11 but I couldn't do anything with him and then finally on the trip back it was just an incredible slugfest they scored 5 in the first inning um I was able to back battle back take the lead and then they scored two runs in the bottom of the ninth to win the game. Um, which is very disappointing. Um, of course, what uh, Adams got the loss. And he just blew the save. And nothing he can do about it, really. So, anyways, that's where we're standing right now. So, we're going to play the Sunday game in Pittsburgh. And it's Lincecum against Compton. Um, I should totally have an advantage here, and it shouldn't be that hard of a game. So we shall see. Let's see how. Um, Lincecum. I lost a couple games in a row. And just refuse to sit anybody at this point. Um, actually, no. And you can see I'm eight and a half back now. Um, I just can't afford to lose any more games and any more grounds. We're in early July. That trade deadline is classic, closely coming upon us.
looking out over the Roberto Clemente Bridge into downtown Pittsburgh. Phillies baseball starts right now. That's a beautiful shot. Now from the north shore of the Allegheny River, there's a beautiful look at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. It's the finale of this three-game series between the Phillies and their in-state rivals to the west, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi again, folks. Welcome back to Phillies baseball here on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Eric, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, and as you can see from the final score, plenty of offense to go around in the ball game yesterday. The way this one's shaping up, we could be in for more of the same here. You can see Ruff had two home runs in that game yesterday. We'll hear plenty more from the guys moving forward, but before we do, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies, as their order here this afternoon will look like this. Set to face these guys, there you see the numbers for the six foot four inch right hander out of the Atlanta organization, Charlie Morton. Leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. And this is fouled back and out of play. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time high in the air toward fairly deep right center. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. So the leadoff man is taken care of to start our finale here this afternoon. And with that, let's give you a look at how the Pirates align defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Our temperature, hot but not overly hot. 87 degrees here at first pitch. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. So a solo shot off the bat of Jimmy Rollins. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. This is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. Chase Utley will stand in now, hoping to turn things around here. You can see just one hit in his past four ball games. Ball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well, there's the location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, it's going to be on the ground. Gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And he changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. A 
Another 1-2 delivery. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Bases are empty. One man out. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one. High and deep to center. There to take it in his McCutcheon now for route number two. It's worth noting that he's leaving the ball up here to these first few hitters. They're already bitten him once. He's lucky it didn't bite him here. Ryan Howard will get his first opportunity here. Currently leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Phillies pick up one courtesy of the Jimmy Rollins home run. Home half of the first coming up at PNC Park. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia. A look there at the starting lineup for Clint Hurdle's Pittsburgh Pirates as they'll line up this way. Getting ready now is Starling Marte to lead things off in the home half of inning number one. And he lays off there 1-0. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made a pan out. Swung on and missed 1-1. One and one. Looked like he was on that one, but it's 1-2. and two. Grounded fouled off to the left, so they'll do it again. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. With that, we'll take a look at our scouting report. You can see a five-pitch repertoire, so mixing those pitches effectively will be a key as we move along. Jose Tabata will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Ah, oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. A little bit of hang time there to that curveball. I don't think that's exactly where he's going to want to throw that pitch going forward. It worked out right there, but he better find a little extra snap on that pitch in the future. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Therefore, it is Bird now as he's got it for out number two. Andrew McCutcheon will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Here's the swing and a chance for Howard over at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. It remains 1-0. Hmm. 
Marlon Byrd will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Right fielder, Marlon Byrd. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, and he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Well, these guys have one home run already, and this was nearly a second one here. You can see it bang off the wall out there on the fly, and he's going to wind up with a double. But he didn't miss a big fly by much. Dominic Brown will stand in. And he's having a great season so far, currently fifth in the National League in home runs. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. For Bird. He reaches the 20 mark and doubles with that last two bagger. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. That's in there. Base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2-0 lead now. Boy, and when your ace is on the mound, this is exactly what you want to do offensively. Get him some early runs, hopefully take the life right out of this crowd. Things are looking good for him early. Carlos Ruiz digs in at the plate. Check on Brown and now the pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Out in front of the fastball here as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. And the runner holds it second, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Cody Ashey will stand in, and he's seen that average climb the past week or so as you see what he's done over the course of the last seven ball games. Ran one in on him there as this is hit softly to third. Here's Walker for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Yeah, that's good hustle getting down the line. A double play could have really put the brakes on this rally, but he's able to beat it out on the back end just to keep things going here. Tim Lincecum will get his first opportunity now. Fouled back. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And that will not get the run home. Oh, yeah. There to pull it in is Alvarez, and there are two gone now. And he'll take a long exhale on his way back to the dugout. When he looks back on the tape of this, he'll realize that he needs to be a little more committed to his swing. He had no chance of that working out well for him. Number 19. We'll get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two.
And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. And McCutcheon will put this one away, and the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates nothing. Pedro Alvarez will stand in now. And as you can see here, he enters play fourth in the National League in round trippers. This one off as it's chopped foul. Grounded foul off to the right side. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And the Pirates at their first base hit. Down 2 nothing here early. They get the leadoff man on to start in second. See how they want to play things from here. Neil Walker will stand in now. Switch hitter batting from the left side here. In there, and it's 0-1. And That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient, because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And Lincecum can't find the target on that one as he runs the count full now at three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That wow. was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging that. Andrew Lambeau will stand in, and his guys have got something cooking now with two on and nobody out. And down by two, this is a good opportunity to try to put yourselves level. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 0-2 coming now from Lincecum. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Well, we could hear him all the way up here in the booth. Just a big old, ugh. Well, that's what pop-ups will make you do. Jordy Mercer will stand in. And you see there, he's been scorching hot these past few games. And that misses ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And, oh. and one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And he 
misses with that one. Ball four, and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. And this has been the big concern with this guy over the last couple seasons. He's prone to getting hurt by the base on balls. Already, that's two walks here in the early going. And that's something that he's going to need to get a handle on pretty quick. Omir Santos stands in now with a chance to either tie this game or perhaps give his club the lead. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. It's going to take a lot of guile to work out of this one. Well, he's got plenty in reserve. This would need to be a magic act, no doubt. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. side but foul and he'll try it again here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field Brown able to make the catch tagging is the runner from third and they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two to one game Charlie Morton will be the batter. And Lincecum able to jump ahead with the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores from second to make it a 2-2 ball game now. Starling Marte. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. And this is taken outside for ball one. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Off the plate again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So in other words, I have no idea. And now this is strike two called as he shakes his head. Two and two now. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied 2-2. Jimmy Rollins is ready to go here as we begin the third. Shortstop. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as we check out the ranking on the team leaderboard, you can see that that gives him an even 20 now on the campaign. Chase Utley will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. reactions behind the play to keep it in front of him and he'll get back in safely as wisely he hadn't committed too strongly toward third base and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul no one out with a runner at second struck him out but he'll try for first on the drop third strike and they wind up getting the out at first, although the other runner does move up 90 feet to third. Well, that's some good aggressive base running right there. He knows the play's probably going to first, so he takes off and makes it up to third on the strikeout. Ryan Howard will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now the first pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball.
And a big swing by Howard, but he didn't get it, and it's 0-2. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. Uh, a run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Runner away from third. Now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. One out and a runner on third. One and two now to the former MVP. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Go, guys. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Marlon Bird will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Runner away from third, now the pitch. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one, nothing in two. Uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. Philly strand one will go to the bottom of the third, all even at two apiece. Jose Tabata makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Number 19 is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. Uh, he's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. The ball winds up getting hit pretty well, but not well enough to do any damage. It's a one pitch out. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big... And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Throw from a knee is too late. And that will be an infield single. Boy, what a great effort just to knock this one down before it gets into center field. But that was going to be asking a lot for him to get up and throw his man out. And as you can see there, that throw is well late. Pedro Alvarez will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground. A diving try at third, but this is by him a fair ball. And they'll get it in quickly, so it's runners at first and second now with one man out. And now you just start to wonder, how much is the heat taken out of this guy? You see the pitch count. It's not all that bad just yet, but he's been in and out of trouble a few times already. So he's definitely had some max effort innings. Neil Walker comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Pirates leave one. We're through three, tied to a piece. Dominic Brown will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And the inning will start with a chopper fouled at home plate. Swing and he pops him up. 
right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Here's a spot where he's probably looking for something hard again, but instead they change up on him, get him out in front a little, and all he can do is pop it straight up. Here's the first offering. Carlos Ruiz is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Couldn't get his hands through there, and it's one and one. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. And now a fastball is roasted into left field. That's a base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Cody Ashey will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Andrew Lambeau will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's Lincecum back to work now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff hitter, nothing in one. Having success with the fastball here, it's 0-2 now. Hit hard toward the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Wow. You got the guy in the hole, 0-2. He's forced to protect the outer edges, but he doesn't have to worry about protecting against a pitch like this. Look where it is. That's a big mistake in location there, leading off an inning. Jordy Mercer will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around.
visit Pirates Black Tech. Just up by on Gilbert. Here's the first pitch. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have to see how they want to score that play. Omir Santos will stand in. And after the error, that certainly changes the scope of this inning around. Yeah, you were looking at maybe two outs and nobody on. That went two on and nobody out. That's about as big a change as you can get. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Even though that's a strike, that's still not a bad take because you're facing a guy that's already walked a few guys, so make him throw some more pitches. Run that pitch count up. And a double steal try here. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Fouled straight back. Two runs, five hits. And no errors so far for the Pirates. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. 
So with a couple of men on and one out in the inning now, let's turn to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm. Just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Oh, and with two guys on already, they couldn't afford to make this any worse, but they managed to do it here by somehow turning a clear sacrifice attempt into a bunt single. That could really come back to hurt. Starling Marte will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game. You'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Jose Tabata will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here. Three to two. Andrew McCutcheon dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. He's been tough to deal with this year. Second on the team at RBI, so this is a golden opportunity. Line hard into left. And Brown won't get there. It's a base hit. And the second run will score as they push the margin here to 5-2 to two now. Pedro Alvarez will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from the defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Not close. It's 2-0. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. 2-1 two pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. And here's the ball out towards straightaway center field. Number 19 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So three runs on four base hits, one Philly error, and two men left on base. We played four full. It's the... Tim Lincecum will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Tim Lincecum. Rafael for call is into the on deck circle now, so that's going to be all for Tim Lincecum. First pitch swinging is this will be a chance for Walker at second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Well, you always want to be aggressive at the plate, but my goodness, look at that ball to strike ratio so far. These guys are swinging at everything. I mean, everything. Number 19 will stand in here, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And he takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Hit hard to the right side, but right to him out at second. And he's getting a bit of a workout over there. Two away now. A story of the ball game right there, and that's how it goes sometimes in baseball. The hard hit balls find gloves, and the little dribblers find holes. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Tabata is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Roberto Hernandez 
is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Close pitch. Maybe just off the plate, but if it was, it wasn't by more than half an inch or so. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Well, there's no question that the sinker away has always been this guy's bread and butter pitch. You can see where it is on show track, and you're just not going to get a better location than that pitch with two strikes. Andrew Lambeau will stride in, popped out and singled in his two trips. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hot dog. Big hot dog here. Here we go. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Jordy Mercer will be the batter. He reached on an error and later scored his last time. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. Oh, two 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command, 1 and 2. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. But take a little swing out, try to drive something the other way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here he comes again, one, two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Ground ball toward the hole, and Rollins can't cut it off. It's into left for a base hit. Omir Santos will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Hits to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. And he lays off for ball one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. And the 1-1 one -one is in the air now, out to center. Number 19 is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Pittsburgh. They're still out in front, 5-2. to two. Chase Utley will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Walker now at second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. 
Ryan Howard would get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. In there, a base hit. Here's a situation where he just says, shift? What shift? I tell you, you've got to hit a ball awfully, awfully hard to get it through an alignment like that. But he's able to do it here. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now is Marlon Byrd. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, and that's knocked down. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Yeah, I think this has got to be an infield single. You see the reaching attempt there at short? Even if he fields this ball cleanly, there's no guarantee they were going to get him at first. And this is indeed going to be a base hit. Dominic Brown will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. And, and the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. In the dirt here, goes to third with it. The tag oh. at third, and they got him. A double play, and very quickly here, the side is retired. One oh. left for Philadelphia, oh. and the deficit remains 5-2. to two. Oh, God. Charlie Morton will bat for himself here with his guys up three here in inning number six. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. That's a pitch you really have to learn to take against a guy like this. But even if you make contact, you're just going to get something in on the label. So that's a great take. Cold strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Are you kidding me? This is getting ridiculous now. Somebody check that guy's back. He's got a three-hit game. Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And a quick throw back to first, but he's in safely. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. And that's through for a base hit. And that's not a good start to the inning on the mound. Back-to-back -back hits have him in trouble again. And at this point, they can't afford to let this deficit get any wider than three. Jose Tabata will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking, strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. Over to Howard, and indeed, they get them both. Oh, this will be a good look here in show motion. Even in super slow-mo, I think we all know what's running through his mind right here. He knows he's going to get leveled. and This is something right out of a gymnastics class. That one had to hurt. Andrew McCutcheon will be the batter. He singled home a couple in his last at-bat. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. and And even after the double play, you can still make something out of this inning with a simple base hit here. one -oh pitch now. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. Good fighting slider there. Hit on the ground down to third. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Pirates leave one. 
fifth, and it remains five to two. Back here in Pittsburgh, it's on to the seventh inning with the Pirates leading in this one, but before the inning gets underway, let's check out the game summary to this point. Carlos Ruiz. And here's a swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt, and it's strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And he sails it over his head. That ball's down the line, and this is trouble. So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Cody Ashey will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. A bare hand for one. On to first, a double play. Now batting. Andres Torres will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. After the break, we'll see the former number one overall pick, Pedro Alvarez, start things out. It's the Pirates' five. And the... Aaron Loop will get the ball now, as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw over by Utley, one away. Neil Walker will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Andrew Lambeau will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Line hard, but foul. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. folks are talking this guy up as a rookie of the year candidate that's not a terrible pitch but he jumps all over it and I'll tell you what this is a kid that's got a real bright future if you ask me Jordy Mercer will stride in he singled in his last plate appearance and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one yeah same pitch here from the home run ball but this one's in a much better spot down at the knees and there's ball one and here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He can go just about anywhere from here. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. 
Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. Will Mark, number 19, will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. In there, no balls and a strike. Now, the guy you see right there has been terrific. Well, will they let him work these final two innings? Well, I think the pitch count is in his favor. Everybody pays a lot of attention to that. So, barring a huge spike right here in the eighth, I don't see any reason why he can't get these final six outs. Now a fastball hit in the air to straightaway center from McCutcheon. One down. Pirates lead this one in front of the home crowd here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. You should get a look at our line score to this point in the contest. One away and Jimmy Rollins will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Ball two now. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. That's more than the rest of these guys can say. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. So much for taking a few pitches. Now the pitch. Swung out and missed the two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Not only has he sprung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Chase Utley will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of... And hey, don't write these guys off just yet. It's a home run. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley. 19th home run for him on the season. And with that, it's now a 6-3 ball game. Well, yeah, his first hit of the series here, and he makes it a good one, all right. As this one clears the wall by plenty. And back in the dugout, you can imagine he's probably saying, it's about time. And Clint Hurdle's out to have a conference at home plate, so it appears we'll see a double switch here. Your attention, so with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Ryan Howard will stand in to keep things going. And I don't know, Steve, is the comeback on? Well, at the very least, I like that they're showing some character out there. You never want to go down without a fight. So they're going to make these final at-bats count. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the ship. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. One for the Phils, and it comes courtesy of this home run by... Omir Santos will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Al Albuquerque is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eight. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 
And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And Rollins will throw him out one away. Clint Barmas will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at short. Throw on to first, and Barmas is gone. Two away. Starling Marte will step in. One for four in the ballgame. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One and one. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. When he's got that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They still lead it six to three. Jason Grilling is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Marlon Bird will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. He can't hold on there. He's he's he has misses pitches. on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0-2 now. Oh, and I like how they doubled up on the changeup right there. That's a good pitch. Yeah, it's natural to think that the pattern's going to be slow, then fast. So you're right. That's a nice call. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Swing and a line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoke. Dominic Brown will get another crack. One for three thus far. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Nobody out, runner on first. And he commits to the pitch inside, and he definitely went around that strike. <sighs> And that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Well, that pitch has a lot of life up in the zone. Just takes off on it. One, two. Misses. Ball two. I thought he was going to get rung up on that one. I would agree. If that missed, it didn't miss by much. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Around third and being waved on home. The relay throw. And Brown is in there at third base with a triple. Okay, take your time. That should be interesting. Okay, he was injured, so they have to change your replacer. Um, we'll put Mayberry in. 
John Mayberry will come on now and run at third base following the injury. Carlos Ruiz will dig in now and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Tying runs on the plate. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. The runner in scoring position with none out. Runner away from third. Now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three putout for route number one. And he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. Yeah, and that turns out to be a nice little play there behind the plate. They get the swing through for strike three, but then he's got to get the out over there at first base and make sure that nobody else advances. And he's able to accomplish both of those tasks. Cody Ashey will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. A man at third with one away. in there and it's even at one that man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far it seems like it's been a growing trend so far but man you just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right Tabata is there let's see if they test it and they're able to inch a bit closer on the sack fly as this is now just a one-run deficit. And for a third base coach, that plays right on the border of, uh, should I send him or should I not send him? But he makes the right decision here, and that run's going to score on the sacrifice fly. Darren Rupp will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. And here's a swing and a miss. So the fills are down to what could be their final strike now. Job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. This guy's not hitting over 300 by accident. He's got a very good knowledge of the strike zone, and he knows when to lay off. And now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate, but could not cash in. Well, that was a pretty shaky save, all things considered. Well, he gave two of those runs back here in the ninth, and he winds up getting the job done in the end, and that's all that really matters.
A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. We'll talk about the injury and stuff and everything after uh, tomorrow. Um, so, again, this is AP69, and I'm out. I decided not to be out. Um, it's only a few days, so we're going to keep him active. Seems to be getting a break with that one.